Hello guys, my name is Swamana Mark. I welcome, welcome to the welding workshop. So today, we are going to perform bat joint by using oxyacetylene gas welding process. Everyone can ask himself or herself how can weld by using oxyacetylene gas welding. But after this reason, everyone will be able to perform any work by using oxyacetylene gas welding process. So today, before, before welding, you have to, to be with the equipment by using any oxyacetylene gas welding. All equipment, nothing special, only are the cylinders where they are stopped store the gases. There is a acetylene cylinder and the oxygen cylinders. Every cylinder must be with their regulators. The regulator, the acetylene cylinder, must have the proper regulator, which is the acetylene regulator. And the hose pipe, and welding torch. So before welding, you have to be safe. You have to be safe first. You have to, to have welding gloves to protect your hand. You have, may have welding googles to protect your eyes. And you have the welding boot in order to protect your arms and the overcoat. When you are well fit, you have to start your work. So let us start, as you see in the previous session, you have seen that the welding process, we use the neutral frame in order to get a good weld. So let us start by writing our neutral frame, then we continue to the welding to perform our bat joint. In order to perform our bat joint, we have, we must have the pieces, welding pieces or our parent metals. So, and the, we have the refractory bricks, which, which are resist in the, the high temperature. So let us go to the opening our cylinder. So we have to start to the acetylene. Acetylene comes before to the oxygen. So start here by opening, by opening the, to the cylinder valve, we have to open quarter of the cylinder valve. So here, we start from here, then end from end to here. The next, we go to the oxygen cylinder valve. Then we, we do the full open. You have to know every, every day and every step when you are, you are going to weld, the cylinder key must be on the cylinder valve the acetylene cylinder valve. So after opening the cylinder, you have to go to the, you have to go to the adjusting, you have to see if there is something inside. The, one of these regulators show us the inside the pressure, another, another show us the working pressure. To get the, the working pressure, you have to open to the Control valve. Control valve must be on the welding blow pipe. This is a control valve of the acetylene, the acetylene gas, and this one is a control valve of the oxygen gas. So we start by opening slowly the control valve of, of, your, of your acetylene by adjusting the working pressure. Then 
we go here to the adjusting screw. Adjusting screw must show us, and you hear the sound, the noise of our gases comes out. Then you, we adjust slow by slow up to the 0 0.5 bars of our, this is our working pressure on the acetylene gas. Then we close our acetylene control valve. Then we, we come here to the, to the uh, oxygen control valve. We open, then we adjust by using this knob up to the 2.5 .5 bars of our working pressure of oxygen. Here, the acetylene, the acetylene gas is the fuel gas. Is the reason why is the frame which can be burned. And the oxygen gas is the accelerator of our heat. So after, after regulate control our working pressure, we come to the lighting of our frames. We have seen that there is three type of frame. We have oxidizing frame, neutral frame, which is used today for welding and the carburizing for the cleaning and the hard surface thing. So let us now write our frame. When you are going to write our frame, we start by opening the control valve of acetylene gas. Then we hear the sound, the noise of the gas but you, ha you have to open the little bit. Then we use the spark lighter in order to ignite our frame. Now get. So here we are, go we, we, we are going to add slowly the oxygen gas so that we get our neutral frame. Our neutral frame must have two, two parts. One part is the acetylene feeder. This part, this part is the acetylene feeder. And then there is another part which is blue one, which is inner cone. Is there all heat is concentrated along the two to, from the tip of the inner cone to the six millimeter, there are three, 3,200 degrees Celsius of heat. So after getting our neutral frame, you have seen that this is our neutral frame. Now we have to wear our welding gloves so that we can burn yourself. We can't burn your Self. And you can use the filamento. So we are going to perform our butt joint by using oxyacetylene gas welding. But before, you have to do what we call a tack weld. A tack weld is the some point you put on your, your work PC so that it can be not separated. It can't be separated before using, before a full weld. So you, you preheat our base metal. After preheating, Make a joint. This is what we call the tack word. Is that this is the, these are the, the tack word. So now let us go to the full word 
by using oxyacetylene gas welding by adding pyrameto. You heat up to the melting point of the edges, then after you add your pyrameto. You have to go slowly so that you can you get after you get the, a good penetration of your workpiece. You see? You have to control your travel speed. Your tra travel speed must be constant so that you get a good penetration and a good joint. The filament must be put on that on the center of our molten metal. You don't you 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 can't hit our filament. You hit the edges up to the melting point. Then after you add your filament. So this is our final product. This is our joint. You see, because our travel speed is constant, you get a good penetration. This is where we weld. This is the outside, the, the, our penetration. So now, here, nothing special only to shut off our frame. When you are going to shut off your frame, you remember that you must start on the acetylene gaze, then after to the oxygen gaze. So after closing on the control valve, you, you return to the acetylene control cylinder valve. Then you close it, and here, to the oxygen, you close. After closing all the valves, here, you open again to the control valve, then you, sh you release your adjusting screw, so that we return to the zero of our regulators. And then you go then you, you see that our gear, we released, we released our pressure to the zero. So this is enough today. See you next time for by on the oxyacetylene gaze cutting. Thank you.